What's going on everybody? Jay Hayes here. So today we're doing a review on a device that I picked up for the purposes of the review. Okay, so here's the situation. I'm just going to kind of put a disclaimer out there and then you could do with this what you so choose. This device is not, I repeat, is not a good thing to vape. Without getting into the details and the schematics and the chemicals that are used inside of this PCB board, printed circuit board, or CVR, the same heating element that was used in the Altus, for those of you that don't remember, was kind of like a chip, the CVU chip. Central vaping unit, whatever, and it was kind of like a ceramic scenario. But they did the same thing with this, and that was actually made, I believe, in Thailand. I don't think it was Chinese. The Altus came out, then they came out with a second rendition of the Altus. Needless to say, it was a fucking flop. It just really was not a good device. This guy right here. What made this so special was inside here you would take the tank apart. Looks like a generic ass tank that you would say, oh, this guy made this. Let's go ahead and try to make a drip out of that. No. The answer is no. I'm no chemist, okay? I, I don't try to reverse engineer something to figure out the chemicals that are included in something to make something work. But I do know the job or the task at hand to make this vapable. There's basically ceramic and then there's wire through it that heats up. This one changes it up a little bit and add a couple more features. I am here to tell you that the coating that is on this heating element of bad, okay, is very, very, very bad. I'm not going to name my sources because it doesn't matter. I'm here to tell you firsthand as you watch this, please do not vape this. I'm not going to get into what can happen if you do vape this. It's just not safe for you to vape this. I hope a lot of the other reviewers look up some of the technology in this to further validate what I'm saying. They don't think that I'm just like shooting from the hip and talking shit. You know, it, it's not even like I really need to even say anything negative about this just due to the fact of how negative the shit is that's coded on the top of this for this to function and not break down, not chip, not melt. Yeah, you're gonna put cotton over it. I know you can use the argument that, well, there's a filter on a cigarette and it's got all the bad shit in it, right? But we're not here to vape to replace smoking. You understand what I'm saying? Like that, I, I get it that a lot of people vape now because they smoked or they got into vaping to quit smoking. I get all that, I do. But at this point, this is not gonna be the first device that you pick up. If it is, whoever sold it to you should be fucking fired. There should definitely be some research entailed on using this. You guys remember when Atlantis originally launched their first ceramic coil? You remember that? You remember the amount of shit that they got? Mm-hmm. You don't remember. I do. I remember very well. I'm gonna show you about this. There's really nothing inside of the box, but I'm gonna bring these little units down so you could see them firsthand. So, let's flip it. By looking at this box, it appears to be one of those fly-by-night companies, because I have no idea who they are. It's even very, very difficult to find out who, in fact, is the manufacturer of this company. Inside the peripheral bag, you're gonna have an Allen key, a heat displacement ring, or a scratch negator. Over here, you see these little clamps. Those are what's gonna go on top of it to hold the cotton over the device. There is not an extra little heating element inside of here, so what you see is what you get. One thing that Altus used to push on theirs was you could use this device for like years and never have to worry about replacing it. Easy to build and self-cleaning. If anything is self-cleaning, I'm not quite sure the safety precautions as to what needs to be taken to use the device. I don't think anything should be self-cleansing. Self-cleansing to me just means like there's Clorox bleach and if shit gets funky, it knows how to clean it. That's not the way it is, but that's the way that I look at it. You know what they're calling this unit? They're calling it a wafer heater. I first thought that said water heater and I, uh, yup. With PMMA, you have to be really careful because citric acids may break this down or any kind of citric juice, lemon, pineapple, anything that's really citric may break this down. I don't know if this is a good PMMA or if it's just a very standard basic polycarbonate. It appears by looking at this, there is zero adjustments for the airflow. What you see is what you get, those three, six, nine, twelve different air ports. And again, this does not spin, this does not, the drip tip does not come out. It is literally all one piece. I'm not really keen on that whole situation. If you're going to buy this device, 
you don't have to build coils. What it is is that little board in the center there, which we are gonna take out so I can show you what it is. What is that fucking made out of plastic? That is your heating element there, and then you have this kind of cage wrapped around it. This cage appears to be aluminum. Very, very cheap. Now I get someone could use the argument that you're gonna have cotton beyond this and between this and the heating element. I don't know what to say about this. This is 100% aluminum. There's no way it's anything else. It's not even a zinc alloy. Just feels really, really cheap. Go ahead and tell me right now by looking at that heating element, it does not look exactly like the one on the left. Go ahead. Inside the altus, you can kind of see it. There are two little coils that go in there and that you see them right there. So those coils actually get hot, heat the ceramic up, good to go. Versus this that doesn't have any coils inside of it and it's just got, um, I don't know how this heats up. It looks like there's actually specks of metal inside of that ceramic. So we know what I'm gonna do at the end of this, right? We know that I'm gonna break that to see exactly what's inside of it. Keep in mind that this does not come with any cotton inside of the bag, so you're gonna have to use your own cotton, which again, I would definitely suggest as you wanna make sure that the cotton you're using is gonna be probably the best cotton. And you're gonna put your cotton over that then this clamp is going to go on here and then further secure the cotton around it you could tell by this clamp style that it's absolutely shit though like it's not very good at all the clamps are very shangati and they're junky i almost want to break this right now to find out what's inside of it but i'm going to use this device and let you know my thoughts on the vaping even though i just i really cannot recommend you to vape this because i know what goes into making this chip right here so that's going to go just like that and then you're gonna take your little clamp jammy. Even if you were to use a thinner cotton, I don't understand why they would give you such a dainty ass clip. And they're both that small. Why are you giving me such a small ass clip? What kind of cotton are we using here? Like, what is this? Tampies? Cut all the little excess jammies off. This is a dripper, keep that in mind. This is not a tank. So whether you have a little extra appendages down there on the bottom is not really going to matter too much. Make sure that that little top piece is not touching the side, even though it does look like to be an anodized. I'm assuming that's the way it's going to go on just like that. Check this out. This shit is strange. Basically got it all wicked up. It's good to go as much as it can be good to go. Uh, I just want you to pay attention to something right now. You'll notice that this is at a 0.54, 33 watts, whatever. When we hit this button, it doesn't really do much of anything. But if we wait, watch the resistance. We're going to need to pump this up a little bit to get more vapor. 0.64 now. 0.72. Open it up a little bit more. 0 0.70. 0 0.74. 0.74. 0.76. I almost feel like it would be stupid for me to vape this. I don't like that that fucking resistance is everywhere. Like, it's... Why try to reinvent the wheel? Why? Especially for a heating technology. Guess whatever works, right? Okay, all right. That's definitely worth mentioning. The top of this mod is extremely, extremely hot. So is the base of this. Now that may be due to the actual material that they're using. So uh, I'm not really gonna hit this too much. I'm gonna give it maybe one or two hits, just again, for the purposes of science. I'll be NCR's test bunny. Now it's at 0 0.49, 0 0.50, 0.61. It, it, I don't know. The all right, all right. What's up there, pumper nickel puss? About dripper thing, Jammy. I'm a huge fan of finding innovation, doing something different. What's going on now is I guess a lot of companies in China don't want to do any kind of innovation for airflow or any kind of innovation for squawking, any kind of innovation outside of using heating elements. Wicking with mesh has been around since the beginning of vaping. Like it just has. I don't. Do not want to vape this. There's many things that I don't mind doing. Listen, I twerk on camera with my booty out, wearing a red wig, eating a nacho, someone rubbing ice cream on my nipples. I'll do all that all day long. I don't like ingesting something if I'm not quite sure as to what the fuck is gonna happen. But I feel that if I do this once or twice, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. So I'm just gonna do this. Again, in the name of science is why I'm doing this. 63 watts at this whatever the fuck resistance that keeps happening. Such a stupid device. Ooh. 
You know what's funny is when you look on a website, it says 0.4 to 0.5. I'm having the exact opposite of that. Like I am everywhere but 0.4 or 0.5. 0 0.65, 0 0.70. I pumped up the power to 77.5 watts. Let's give it one more vape and I'm gonna give my final thoughts on this piece of shit. Here we go. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. That is not anything I would ever vape. Let me tell you what I got going on. We've all vaped machine oil at some point in time. We all have. It's just something that we've done. Whether or not it's been a Chinese dripper or something high end, it really doesn't matter. There's been a point in time when we vape machine oil. That's exactly what that tastes like. Without going over the heating element, let's go over the actual device itself. The polycarbonate tank, it feels absolutely shitty. The drip tip on it is very, very reduced. The airflow is very, very reduced. The little little thing that goes around the heating element is aluminum. I'm not quite sure what the little metal clamps are that go on top of the cotton that if it touches the ceramic or whatever the fuck that is, if that's any good. Now, I mentioned in the beginning about Aspire and the ceramic coils. Well, it was more designed towards the ceramic fibers. Now, it's a little bit hard to find out information on this, but Aspire basically got ripped apart by a bunch of people, including people on Reddit, which I know a lot of people think are trolls. We're not talking about the troll situation. What we're talking about is the safety of what Aspire did. It was ceramic fibers that they were using to saturate the juice. And of course, ceramic fibers is that like asbestos, little needles that go into your lungs and well, I'm not saying that this does this. I don't even know if there's enough of research on this to say what it does do. There's a reason why Canthal has been used for many, many years outside of vaping. You know, it's got extremely high tolerances to high temperature. I'm not saying that vaping on ceramic is bad. What I'm saying is vaping on this is bad. Stay the fuck away from this. Like, don't even think about getting this device. I know that automatically makes you want the device because someone's telling you not to do it. But listen, if you care about your lungs and you care about your throat, I'm here to tell you, I would love to see this company put out some kind of sheet and have another third party company that has no affiliation with this company to show you what chemicals are in fact inside of that little chip shit jammy they can list all the shit they want all day long on their website i can list my socks online on ebay that they taste like lemonade and they smell like vanilla have nothing to do with my socks whatsoever i wish my socks tasted like vanilla i'd be chewing on my fucking sock as i'm talking to you right now but the point is is that you can list anything you want there's no one to regulate china and saying you know listen this isn't a good device don't put this out there we've all seen fucking failures come from china and again i'm not saying that china cannot make good products what i'm saying to you is if someone's going to invent something like this give me some kind of evidence that this is better to vape on than that of canthal not just the fucking whip don't be like, oh, this is better because it's said we say it's better. Of course you're going to say that because if you said it was shittier, nobody would buy your device. This is shit. It tastes like asshole. I would rather lick behind a bum's ears before I would fucking vape off of this. And you know how fucking funky that's going to be. Shit. You, you probably took a shower this morning. You take your fucking finger, stick it behind your ear, give it a good scraping. I bet you got funk. Maybe you don't. Maybe you do. Either way, this, I would rather lick your fucking finger. Stick your finger in your belly button right now. Take your finger and stick it all the way in your belly button. Swirl it about. Sort of like you're stirring up a drink with your finger. Swirl it about. Move it around, right? Do one even better and wet your finger before you stick your finger inside of your, je your, your jelly button. That is when you put grape jelly inside of your button. Jelly buttons. <laughs> or... That's when you take the buttons off your jacket and put them inside of your PBJ. A little crunchy. That never hurt nobody. I bet you that'd be healthier than vaping off of this. Stick your finger in your belly button. Swallow it about, you know? Give it a good grinding. Get to the baseline. If you feel like you're going to throw up and piss your pants, you're still not far enough. Push harder. Stick it all the way in there. Now, pop it out. Pop it out. Put it in your nose. Not, not to your nose, in your nose. Like inside of your nose. And smell that. I would rather vape what you just smelled. If you did truly do that, you didn't do it. You got close, too. You stuck your finger in your belly button. I know you did. I, I, I know you did. But I would rather vape whatever funk is on your fucking finger than I would this. 
Some of them might argue, be like, Jay, why are you putting this out there? Why are you making this video? Because I can and because I am. That's why. If you don't like this fucking video, which I'm sure NCR is not going to like this, they're probably going to report it. Tell YouTube, hey, can you take this down, man? We don't agree. You should have probably thought about that before you made the fucking device. Like, that should have been an equation. But you didn't do that. So how would I rate this device on a 0 to 10? A fucking 0. It's not vapable, it's not practical, it doesn't make any sense, and it just looks idiotic. I know you could use the argument that I look idiotic, that I'm stupid, but guess what? You're not fucking vaping on me. You're also not putting your lips on my lips and inhaling. Unless, of course, you're French kissing. And oh, what's up? How you doing? What kind of what flavor panties you got on? Before we end this... Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and flip this real quick. We're gonna take that chip apart to see if there is any actual metal inside of the chip. It's quite a thick chip, but we're gonna break this down. I was gonna throw this cotton out, but I wanted you to see these black marks that I put on there. Now, I only did about three to four hits on it. You can see there is a little bit of pigmentation already on the ceramic chip. So what, we're just gonna snap this in half and I wanna see what is on the inside. So just go ahead and close your eyes. Well, that was just the easiest thing to break. Um, nothing. There is nothing in the center of this. Nothing. So the actual plate itself is essentially a coil. Do you see that? That is a clean break. Nothing inside of it. I guess if you really wanted to, you could take that piece of shit chip out of this and just put a coil in here. At that point, who really gives a shit? Guys, don't buy this. Look at the stains all over this. That was just from two to three hits. Just don't buy it. It's junk. I've kept it real. Have you?